guys, I'm pretty sure that I found the meta. Oh my god, this stuff is too good. Best, come here. Try this. What do you think? Oh my god, even Bales likes it. And she hates cans. And yeah, I mean, it's so good. This is my favorite flavor. It's called Orange Dreamsicle. And I, like, I just want to share it with everyone. Even, even the freaking duckies. But Bales, as much as I want to share with the duckies, I also want you to... Get those duckies, bitches! Aww. Close, close. Nom, 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 Anyways, it looks like we got some mail today from Mr. Wandering Tyson, who, if you don't know, he's a dude that broke records by traveling around the world on a scooter, well, around the country, and now he's traveling around the world. He's in Europe right now, and he sent me this shirt. I love you too, but he has a motorcycle. Tyson, I can tell you from experience, this shirt is actually very accurate. Now, is it accurate with scooters? Honestly, I, I don't know. You know, the weather in California, it really depends on the year. Sometimes we'll have freezing cold winters and it'll rain all the time. And then sometimes we have winners like this. Winners with beautiful views, lots of green, flowers, bugs, which, you know, I don't know, bugs are cool. And nice piping cold AC blowing on our face all winter long. You know, it's weird, a lot of Californians, we leave California for the winter time because we don't want to wake up on Christmas morning, pop a t-shirt on, and be freaking sweat and walking your dog. No, we want that ice cold Jack Frost, Jack Bales' butt with a nice frosty Jack Bales' tail. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally missed the green light, you know, because I was I was freaking smacking Bez's tail. Sorry. Now, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, we actually have a little bit of an ant problem in the club household. Luckily, we also have an ant solution. Now, it's my understanding that these are the most popular type of ant traps that you can buy. I've used them before, and basically, why are you so scared of them? Yeah, they are. They're really scary. You should be scared of them, and most importantly, they should be scared of them. You just cut a little section right here and you give them a place where they can crawl in. Now, there's a bunch of fluid in here that apparently, well, I've seen it in action before. The ants, they freaking love it. Now, clearly this sign was a little bit of an exaggeration this morning. I mean, we killed a whole bunch of them. You can see that they're all dead right here, but we didn't really finish the job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this little welcome mat and it's gonna warn them. You know, they have the opportunity to turn around and go home or they have the opportunity to crawl into here and make this sign come true. So we're gonna go away for a little while. We're gonna come back later. We're gonna see how it looks. Meanwhile, we're gonna go meet up with the Linky Bear and Randy Bear 5000. We're gonna head up north to meet with Summerboard because today we're picking up a Summerboard. I know I can show this place because their address is listed on their Instagram. All right, all right. We got the official Summerboard toaster, and there's the official Summerboard hand sanitizer, and these are of course some official Summerboard forks. And you know, shh, shh, don't don't tell anybody, but. We're gonna steal a summer board fork. So this is it. Here's the board. Check it out. He's gonna do a 360 no scope. Ready? Boom. That'll be me in due time. In due time. Oh, the wheelie. <laughs> All right, so this is it. This is the board that I'm gonna be taking home, the board that I'm gonna be learning on. So yeah, I'm excited to figure this thing out. And uh, Aaron, once I get this thing figured out a little better, I'll come along and shred with you guys. So thanks, man. Appreciate it. Why'd you take it, dude? If you hadn't taken that, you wouldn't have had to deal with it. Oh my god. Oh, dude, it went right up. <laughs> so as soon as I got home from picking up the board, I started to come down with the flu. And if you've ever had the flu before, you know that it sucks. It's like a four day trial of just like hating your life. And so I just got over the flu. My voice is still a little bit messed up. But I'm finally here. It's late in the day. We don't even have that much sunlight left, but I want to ride this freaking summer board. So we're gonna go ride it. stop on this thing you just stop like a normal snowboard you just go heel side or toe side and just skid to a stop I mean don't get me wrong I'm all about having brakes having brakes is awesome but you just don't need to use them like you can stop with no brakes 
I mean, if you need to use the brakes, you're probably gonna be in a situation where it's either you fall in a pit of lava or you use the brakes. In that case, well, you're, you're lucky because you, you have brakes. Look, going, brakes, going, brakes, going, brakes, going, brakes, going, brakes. Really going somewhere, just kidding, brakes. Like I said, the way they told me to do it, and I know it's weird, but I believe them because they designed it and they're right, is you put your back foot in first, kick off a little bit, put your front foot in, and then just shred. Did you guys see the turn radius? It tells you how fast you're going, neither kilometers and miles per hour. Right now I'm going 18. Let's see how fast we can get it up to. Without dying, without crashing, without dying, we hit 30, we hit 32! And that's it, you get to go downhill, you get to go uphill, you get to go freaking 30 miles an hour for 12 miles of range. And of course you can swap out the batteries to go even further. <sighs> Epic. Now I mentioned all the pros about this wonderful machine, but I haven't talked about the cons. So con number 6.68 is there is a learning curve to this thing. It takes you a little while to learn it. It's just like a bicycle. It takes you about an hour to learn it. Now obviously this isn't that big of a problem. If you want to avoid injury, just Stupid, the stupid board just fell. Yeah, I guess another con is you can't you can't store your board like this. Or you know what, maybe you can, you just also have to give your board the proper protection. But yeah, wear proper protection. On a side note, check out this lid Boss Helmet sent me. <laughs> I feel like it's ridiculous, but it's keeping me safe. All right, con number two. Crap, what's con number two? Is there a con number two? I'm just making these up as I go. Come on, there's gotta be a stupid second con. Come on, something, 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 something. If it breaks, you can send it to them and they'll fix it. They'll send you a shipping label. I asked them about it when I was in their office. Other than that, um, you can't use it anywhere that you can't use a skateboard. You can't use it in water. I mean, you can use it when it's raining apparently because the battery is like water resistant. Oh, you can take it on planes. I think they already talked about that in the first video. There's not a lot of cons to it. It's, it's just like, snowboarding except you can do it all the time it's cool i like it i'm happy to have one i'm not really sure if you can pick up girls with it or not but if you have any problems all you have to do is rescue a pit bull and you'll have no problem right bears just get a cute little bears right and you get the petter too so it's like a two for two combo you know i actually really dig this freaking helmet like it's obnoxious it's made for cruiser riders but like it works it's cool it's good i like it if you want one there's a link down below. Oh, okay, okay, the thing that confused me the most so far was I plugged it in and the light's supposed to turn red when it's charging. That's because I didn't realize you're supposed to turn it on and then the light will turn red. So you have to turn it on if you wanna charge it. I figured it out. All right, so we got all kinds of crazy yummy related stuff going on in the club household. First of all, we got an excited Bales whose yummies now have to be stored in the freezer to avoid ants, you know, tracking them down and, and munching them all. And so with that, Bales, I got a very important question. Do you wanna sit? Now do you wanna wait? And now do you want to give me a paw? And now, I think it's time for you to kick you! Yummy, 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 and we got the tail wags. We got the tail wags. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a current update on the situation, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Check it out, there's so many ants, the spider's literally like setting up shop. He's like, dude, I want in on some of this. Sorry man, you don't have what it takes, man. You ain't got that trap juice. All right, this is pretty disgusting, but take a look inside of the trap. It is literally full to the brim of ants. They're just eating it all. And the crazy part is there's gotta be more, right? Like, where are they going? They're going behind the outlet right there. Oh my, it's like a super freaking highway of oh ants. This is, this is disgusting. All right, I'm stupid. I turned this thing and tried to get a thumbnail. <laughs> and they're going freaking crazy, look at them. Why am I doing this? I'm messing it up. <laughs> oh my God. 
I mean, technically, they all still ate it, so hopefully they, they take it back. Hopefully they take it back. This is freaking nuts, dude. So basically, if you don't understand how this works, this stuff takes a couple days to kill them, so it attracts the ants. It's really sweet. They come in here, they start eating it, and they take it back to their colony. They feed it to the queen, they feed it to whoever stays in the colony, and after a few days, they'll all have spread it around, and it'll kill the entire colony. What are you doing, Bales? What are you doing? She just tried to lick them. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting you to- do you have ants on your face? There's no ants on your face. Ew, you just ate a bunch of ants, Bez. Go, get away, get away. That's yucky, that's gross. Anyways, that is disgusting. If you guys have been following for a while, you know that I've had ant problems in the past, but none of them at any of the other apartments I've lived have even been close to as disgusting as that. That is nasty. But yeah, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated over the next couple days of what happens with that. If that doesn't work, because maybe it's just gonna be way too much for that little chap to handle, I'll have to call the exterminator, but I'm hoping that that'll work because that's just really freaking interesting to me. Anyways, like I said, I woke up this morning after my fourth day of having the flu, just sitting there in bed dying. It's like the worst thing ever. If you've never had the flu, freaking don't ever get the flu because it sucks. I should've got my flu shot. That's what Bells have been telling me. She keeps calling me an anti-vax mom. That's what Santa keeps calling me. The the chick, he just doesn't care. He's just over here squawking up a storm. But yeah, I guess I, I was an anti-vax mom and I should get my flu shot next year. But I'm probably not going to. I mean, don't get me wrong, having bricks is cool and all. Like, it's a great thing.